if you look at AISI 1045, you have ferrite plus perlite, right? So ferrite is BCC, right? And then perlite, you have a, it's a compound that is a mixture of ferrite plus cementite, okay? And then next comes to Oosbor, you have what? Martensite, right? Martensite is highly distorted. Now, when the term highly distorted is used, it always resists deformation. Always. Okay. Then you can see the word retain austenite. Retain austenite happened to be what? FCC in structure. Okay. Now, can someone tell me, right? If any of this has martensite, what happened to B and N? The first one, the first material, AISI 1045, do we have martensite? No, right? So if you look at the B and N value, okay, it's the, the, the third and fourth column, right? At AISI 1045 is 600.8. And then N is equal to 0 0.234. You can see that, right? The next three material, what do we have? Martensite. Right? So when we have martensite, what happened to B and N? It goes stupidly crazy. Yes or no? Right? It goes ridiculously what? Crazy. Okay? Now, remember last week, what did I tell you? Uh, whenever we have, when we process a material, the first question we ask is what? What type? The second question we ask is what? How hard? Let's do that in practice. Okay, let's see what happens. So now if we were to ask the conventional question, what material and how hard we are going to have a ranking system. Okay, we're going to have a ranking what system? This ranking system is one is most difficult to deform. Okay. And four is most easy to what? Deform. Okay. So let's have our ranking system. Okay. So if we just look at hardness and hardness alone, we don't care about anything about microstructure, which one is the most easy to deform? Just looking at the a value. Anyone? Which one's the easiest? Don't cheat, yeah? Don't look at the B, don't look at the N, and don't look at the microstructure. Just focus on the A value, which is the what? Hardness. So, which one's the easiest? Do a face. Which is next? Drip. The next one. And then the last one. Okay. So now, based on the hardness, so let's say your company or, or where you work, you only deform AISI 1045. Okay. And by looking at the hardness, you decide, okay, 1045, we know the hardness, we are going to charge $2. Okay, we're going to charge $2, right? The most commonly asked question in industry is what material and how what? How hard? Yes or no? And then you 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 saw you you come across dual face steel, and you look at it. Ah, oh, so soft. No problem. Right. 
50 cent. Yes or no? 50, yeah. Did I rank them wrongly? Oh, you're right. Trip should be two. You're right. I'm sleeping today. Thank you. So this should be, wait, the easiest is four. No, this is right. Then this is three. And this is two. And that's one. It's correct. So, whose ball is 1040, right? 1045 is 553.1. And then it's 412 is number three. And 120 is four. Right? So based on the hardness, okay, you say, okay, that is uh, $2. The benchmark is $2. It's so soft. Then you, you, you decide, okay, trip steel, not so much difference, right? We're going to charge also what? $2. Okay. Then over here, we are going to charge $4. Okay. So that is based on what? Hardness. Okay. That's based on hardness. Then when you start to deform, what happens? Uh-oh. Right? If you look at the value B now, right? if we were to focus on value B now, the most difficult to deform is what? It's still Usbo. You happen to be lucky. <laughs> right? And then the next one to deform, that's difficult to deform is two. And then the next most difficult to deform is three. And then the next most difficult to deform is four. By looking at B, I want to catch your attention to AISI 1045 and TRIP 800. The first row and the last row. What happened? You think the cost should be the same? So remember, the first row, we got 1045. The last row is trip 800. Both we charge $2. And then if we let, look at the B value, AISI 1045 is the most easiest to deform plastically, but trip 800 became the second most difficult material to deform. Someone is in big trouble now. Yes or no? Right? Because your costing will be, if you base your costing on what? On hardness, you're done. Game over. Right? I'm trying to prove to you the point that it's worthless to ask what? Hardness. It's pointless to ask about what? You strength. When we are dealing with plastic deformation, be clear. Right? All of them, they are, they are in the steel family. of them are steel. Okay. You can, so if all of them are steel, if you look at the Young's modulus, not a lot of changes in what? Young's modulus at all. Not at all. 200, 210 gigapascal. Okay. Now, if we were to look at the value of B, we end up in more trouble now. Yes or no? Now, this becomes number one. Okay. And then this becomes number two. This becomes number three. 
and then this becomes number what? Four. Okay. So at the end of the day, if we add everything up, okay, so three plus two, so this one is six. Four, seven, so four plus four is eight. 8 plus 3 is 11. Okay. So 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. And then the benchmark is 4 plus 2, 6, 6. This is 9. Okay. So if you look at over here, the most difficult material to deform, right? The most difficult material to deform now, as we speak now by looking at, at here, the most difficult material to deform is what? Usbo. Follow closely by what? Trips to you. And if you look at the numbers 11 and 9, dual face steel, they are about the same. <laughs> You see where the problem now is? Yes or no? If you were to compare the ranking based on what? Based on hardness, the only thing that you get it right is what? Usbo. The rest, all wrong. Okay. So a good indicator, usually when, when, I, were, uh, when I was tasked, process to do any process planning or costing, this material scared the crap out of me. When I see mutton side, I say, oh. Okay. Why? Because it has a highly distorted BCC structure and it resists what? Deformation. What makes it worse, it is also very what? Brittle. Okay. If this Alloy, whenever I see this alloy known as retain, oh, very bad. Known as retain austenite, I become very happy. Retain austenite is FCC in structure and they are easy to what? Deform. FCC structure are easier to deform than what? BCC. Don't worry, we'll do that in week number three. And I'll show you why FCC is easier to deform compared to BCC. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, what I've shown you is this. By looking at mechanical properties and relating to microstructure, you can have a very intelligent guess on how easy or how difficult a material can be deformed. Are we clear? Okay, it, it, is a, it is a good indicator. But what is absolutely useless is what? Yeah, I hope I convince you. Okay, I hope gadgets from McMaster will not ask what material hardness. I'll get really upset. So what material, sh what, what you should ask? The first question you ask, what material? The second is what? How does the material strain harden? Are we clear? Better than that useless information known as hardness. Okay. When I was when I was uh, when I was uh, I was also got my college diploma, I will always still ask what material how hard. Okay. Until I did my degree, understand the plastic deformation, then I really understand what it really actually means. Are we clear? Okay. I want you all to discover this early, not like me discover it when it's when 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 I grow older. Okay. Now. I want to look at two materials now, okay? The two materials I want to look at or focus on is AISI 1045 and dual phase steel, okay? So we are going to focus, okay? We are going to consider, okay, before I go on, I'm going to chat on my chat over here. Wow, gee, if you have so many questions to ask, I think you're better off coming down here, okay? I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to die from here, okay? 
Holy crap. Wow. Wow. Come to McMaster, please. Okay, the class is too quiet. Okay. You with two the gen.